Realty Nation. It's your host, Avi Golhar. Welcome to the Think Realty Podcast. You know what's happening today? This show, you know what's going on in this show? We're talking about multifamily. We're talking about due diligence, capex, acquisitions from the legend himself. His name is George. I'm going to tell you about him because there's too much for me to remember, so I'm just going to read my notes. Okay, one of the few times that I actually read my notes, but this is, this is insane, all right, what, what he has been able to accomplish. Here, <clears throat> here we go. Wholesale over 200 single family uh, properties, fixed and flipped over 150 single family, developed and completed new development projects, over 20 million in ground up new construction. He started and built a construction company, bringing in over 12 million in annual revenue. He's the CEO of Elevate Commercial Investment Group. And his goal is to reach 10,000 doors by the end of 1022, uh, by the end of 2022. And uh, his company currently has 2,100, roughly 2,100 doors, uh, exactly 2,141 doors, with 284 under contract on the GP side. He has also over 2,400 doors on the LP side. So this should be a good conversation. Uh, we're going to get into it in just a second. Let's talk. George, welcome to the show. Uh, outside of just being a, outside of just crushing it as a real estate investor, due diligence obviously is a very important thing in multifamily. When you're looking at multifamily, you're looking at location, you're looking at comps, you're looking at uh, is this property a value add? Is this property not a value add? What, who's lying on a P&L, right? It's super easy to lie on a P&L. And how do you track it back? What is the number one thing in multifamily due, in the due diligence process that you absolutely never forget to do anytime? Check every unit. So you're, you're, you're walking every unit. It's like you will, you will yeah. fly there and you walk every unit. Every single unit. Um, do people you know, not a down do that? Unit. That seems pretty simple and reasonable to do. Do people just not do that? They're just like, oh, hey, let me, let me go buy a 200 unit apartment complex on eBay. Click, thank you. They, they get lazy. You know, they, they, get they lazy. say, oh, we're just going to do 25% or you know, something like that. But um, one down unit can cost you roughly 20,000 a door versus you know, maybe a simple upgrade or make ready of 5,000. You know, that's a $15,000 difference there, just yep. one unit. Jeez. And I suppose this way you get a better understanding of what your CapEx is going to be, right? Instead of just estimating it absolutely yeah. per, per door, taking an yep. average of, of your comps and saying, okay, well, we'll apply a $10 a square foot average to CapEx across, you know, the entire property. This gives you more yeah. surgical yeah, approach. Very interesting. Yeah, you get a good feeling for the, the residents as well. Okay. So how do you do that? Do you knock on, you're knocking on doors and you're like, hi, I'm about to buy this apartment <laughs> complex. If you, don't want to get, if you don't want to get evicted, tell me how your experience is. <laughs> like, you'll get five stars all the way through. <laughs> like, George is like, I, mean, I can see you. I'd get intimidated if, yeah. you're, sitting out, if you're standing outside, outside the door. I'd be like, who is this guy? What does yeah. he want? I mean, we do ask questions, you know, and try to get some insight. For sure. That's cool. Man, so tell me, um, tell me how you got into this world, because it seems really interesting. You've done a lot of single family stuff, uh, and then you went into multifamily, and now you're, I mean, you've been working your way up to 100 plus unit multifamilies, uh, multifamily properties. What does that progression look like? You know, it started with single family, right? You know, we, we did our first uh, wholesale deal, and then um, started doing a lot of fix and flips, um, did some holds and got into some smaller multifamily. You know, we had some four plexes and eight plexes. Um, I wasn't thrilled about multifamily back then when I was doing those smaller units. Um, it was just a lot of hands on with the management part of it. And my whole thing was scale. You know, it's always been scaling the business, growing the business. Um, and it's, it's tough with single family. You know, I, I hit this wall um, and it wasn't until I was introduced to multifamily syndications and taking down these 100 plus units 
that I've really been able to hit that scale that I was searching for. What does it take? What does it take for an investor to get to that point where, you know, I think it's one thing to say, let me invest ten thousand dollars in a syndication, and uh, then I'm a multifamily investor. It's something else to be GP and do it yourself and put the fund together, put the syndication together, and go manage this project uh, and go down the road. What's the what's the mindset leap that it takes to go from maybe a single family uh, mindset to a multifamily mindset? Or is it just, hey, cool, add three more zeros? <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's, like you said, it's, it's mindset. I think you, the numbers are bigger, but the work is not much different. I mean, honestly, some of the stuff we were doing in, in single family was harder than what we're doing in multifamily, at least with um, the renovations, for sure. The renovations are much easier in multifamily. It's just more of it and, and bigger numbers. Um, and then just being confident, you know, understanding the business, understanding the fact that you're, if you're going from single family to multifamily, you're no longer just buying the real estate. I mean, you're buying a business. You need to understand the financials and what it goes into really running a business. What is the state of the multifamily industry right now? You're looking at acquisitions across the country. You're taking a look at opportunities on a very regular basis. You're discounting many. You're saying yes to a select few. What are you Correct. seeing out there? What's the, what's the overall trends uh, that you're feeling? What is, what's your gut telling you? I mean, look, we're, it's, it's a hot market right now. It's, it's hard to find deals that are that are priced well it's definitely a, a seller's market um and we're having to get pretty creative on how to find these deals and um you know we've always been willing to take on kind of those uh hairier deals which um by using and leveraging our our construction company we're we're able to take those down with confidence um so that's helped, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough market. If you're a buyer right now, you've got to uh, really get creative with how you find these. And then um, when you find something that works, you, you've got to be able to move quickly and aggressively. Are you, are you raising capital actively for, uh, for potential acquisitions at Elevate? Always. I mean, we've, our pipeline has been full since the beginning of this year um nice i think we yeah we've been raising for a deal nonstop. nice that's huge uh, are there any particular areas in the country you're focused on southeast northeast midwest california um yeah so i mean south south uh east midwest um we're we're pretty open you know if it's a landlord friendly state and um, the metrics look good as far as population and, um, economy, uh, we're there, we're, we're hunting for the deal more than anything. How are you finding your deals? Are they primarily through brokers? It's a mixture of brokers bringing us, um, deals and knowing that, that we have that track record. And then, um, also have other investors that are just starting out or, or maybe not starting out, but wanting to go bigger. Yeah. Um, bringing us deals to, to step in and, and co GP with them. Got it. I was just looking at some market data and, um, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, there is so much competition, uh, for multifamily apartment complexes. Now it's, it's kind of nuts. And so you always have to be on top of it, you always have to be engaging the borrower, engaging the broker, engaging yep. uh, the sellers, building that relationship because without that, nothing happens. Right? Yeah, I mean, we're having everything. lunch with them all the time, calling them all the time. You, you right. got to stay in front of them for sure. Yep. Dude, where can, where can we find out more? If we want to engage, if we want to say, hey, maybe get involved in some way with Elevate, what's the best way to do that? I mean, we're always updating our website. You okay. know, if you go to elevatecig.com, you'll see 
any investment deals that we're raising for. You'll see all the free content we have. Um, that's probably the best way. Excellent. Dude, George, this has been fun. Uh, we'll have you again. Uh, you are speaking at the Think Realty Conference and Expo uh, in Baltimore, September 18 and 19. Uh, you'll yep. be speaking on the state of the multifamily industry panel. Uh, so you'll be uh, butting heads with uh, other folks investing in multifamily. I'm excited to, to kind of stir the fun. pot. That should be fun. So just go in the room, back in the room. Multifamily sucks. How about that? That, that sounds great. That's what you I'll do. you going to be that guy? Yeah, I'm going to be that guy. Single family rules, bro. So that's going to be a very interesting panel because there are a lot of different uh, strategies. There are a lot of different things that investors can do. And I'm looking forward to your insight. So looking forward to seeing you there. And thanks so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. Awesome, man. Thank you.